Hello everyone, we're back again <sighs> for episode two. Um, I think we just need a draw to get through. Uh, oh no, we might be. We need young boys to lose and we need to win. Oh no, we need a draw. Oh, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I'm not that bothered about winning pre-season tournament anyway. Uh, who we got in the reserves? Just looking at players that we can try out and uh, maybe get into the team for the start of the league season. Uh, we're going to give Johnson a rest. I'm pretty happy with that team. Let's see what front for a roll about then because it's going to be the first games. I think Martin came on in the first game was it? When we lost 3-0. Uh, so we need to try and get a draw and hope that young boys lose or we can just win. If we want to get through anyway. I'm not that bothered about getting through. Gives us more time to make Transfers and etc. We're just looking to um, try and put the early bit of pressure on. Nice little pass by Zande Silva. We're just looking to uh, try and get the ball back now. Just playing Stuttgart. Could be an interesting game. Obviously, they lost to Angers last time out, I think. 2-1. Oh, Yates took the ball away. In the edge of the box. Back ball heel, ball and it's a brilliant save by Samba. Fantastic reflex action. It's a brilliant save. Samba, who's been on form, other than that one mistake in the last game. Didn't really know what he was doing. For that only goal that the old boys got. And Taylor scored. Loray gets an assist. He's been excellent all pre-season. Other than that one mistake he made. In that game where we lost 3-0. But Taylor gets a goal. In his first pre-season start. That could be the goal that sends us in. Well. Uh, sends us out of the group stage. It's a decent team goal as well. Good little running behind by uh, the rail and then just a easy finish for Taylor. Here's Mighton now. Gives it inside for Taylor. Taylor gives it into Silva. Silva Megs. Oh, Megs. The uh, Stuttgart defender. Well, he's just got With the pass, but Yates just offside. Early. Could have been 2-0 there. Could have been well on that way. It's a great clearance to Mighton. Mighton Taylor. into Taylor now. Taylor into Garner. Garner plays the ball to Mighton. Mighton into Taylor. Almost gets a second in the game. Warrell intercepts the ball, and we can go again. It's a Great decent tackle. tackle. Just got a got player as Yates picks it up and he through balls it to Loria. Loria turns past his man, he's going to try and dribble inside the box now. Into Taylor. 
Taylor. Oh, as he puts it wide. Well, that could prove to be a big miss. Surely has to score there. It's a poor miss, really, from Taylor. He should be scoring from there. But I'm liking what I'm seeing, though, so far. Definitely been the, the better team. They've had no chances at all, really. They've had what, about one shot, maybe. It's been blocked, but other than that, they've had nothing. So I'm liking what I'm seeing from us at the moment. This is great work for the start of the season. It's, it's a brilliant save by Samma. Danger averted for now. Well, still behind here, but only due to some incredible goalkeeping. Surely it's only a matter of time. Silver can't quite get it out of his feet, and he blocks it again. We've still got still out the ball. Endo. Sasha Kalajic. Now can they make something happen? Oh, can't quite defend. Get the ball back. Yeah, it's Silver's to intercepted. Intervene. We can start maybe a counter-attack. Silver's going to try and run down the right-hand side, I think. And just try and run down the right-hand side, see what he can create. Turns back, gives it to Larea. It's half-time. Fairly dominant first half from us. They've only had, what, the two shots at Samba. Made brilliant saves for, so... Obviously, there's always room for improvement. His angers are beating the young boys as well, so that's good for us. But I think I'm just going to make that one change callback for um, Garner, who's a bit low on energy. Well, lower than everyone else anyway, so. As Taylor's picked up the ball. In the stuck got half at the start of the second half, as he give it to Silver. Silver back into Taylor. Oh, Taylor couldn't quite get a pass off. Mark Oliver Kemp. So a great start to the second half for then almost the getting a early chance. And room now out on the wing. And players waiting in the center. Larea Cuts can't quite get the ball and it's in the box now. Oh, maybe the equalizer. It's nice a great block by Worrell. This corner kick might help them. 30, uh, sorry, 53 minutes gone. Forrest 1 0 up. But been put under a bit of early pressure in the second half. It's called back through, was it to Silva, who's going to get the run now down the right hand side. He's got no one in support at the moment. Silva into Taylor. Is he going to try and get the shot off? And he does, and it's a brilliant save by the keeper. Silver was a brilliant run down the right hand side. Taylor. Into McKenna. McKenna into Mbe So. So into Mayan. Mayan gives it into Taylor. He's uh, been the fend off the ball there. As we just look to try and get a couple of chances off. Not really had anything other than that. Big save that Taylor forced the keeper into, which was a brilliant Crossing shot that should have gone in. McKenna can't quite get the ball, but I don't think it's going to cause any problems, and Colback intercepts, first. and we can go again. Silva gives ball. it inside to Taylor. Taylor now holds it up a little bit and just run out to the right wing. Right, on the right side now, he's going to try and just... Waste a bit of time, maybe. Ryan Yates. Trying not for options as well. Call back. Yates. They really look after the Taylor's offside. And the run Gets in on. Offside. So Martin, who had a brilliant game last time out. Obviously no grabbing on the bench either. Um... Not really seen a lot of uh, low at the moment. Once he's started a game, not really seen a lot of him. But there's always room for improvement, like I said earlier. Give Kane and Davis and some other players run outs.
but Lolly was all right last game. He did amazing. He was. Uh, I think he. But it looked as though he might be made to something, but for uh, the yeah, that's third goal or second goal, one of the two. Maria gives it inside for Yates. Yates wants it football out to Lolly on the right hand side. Lolly into the box. Oh, there was nearly a mistake there from the Stuttgart defender. That Zinknagel was going to try and pounce onto, but couldn't quite pounce onto it. Lolly. Gives it inside of the box to Davis, who couldn't quite needed. get around his man. 79 minutes gone then, and Forrest leading 1 0. As it stands, we'll be going through to the knockout. Or Spencer's and some, and now we can get the ball away. As Lolly passes it well, that's a well -timed pass. As Davis is a poor pass there but it's fine wasted a bit of time there with that uh, hold up of the ball from him Warrell intercepts again but they found someone in Stuttgart might have a chance here it's a brilliant save from Samba yet again brilliant save by Samba again who's keeping us well in this game at the moment. Obviously we're still leading but these could be winning 3 or 4 1 here but Samba saving us. Spence gets pushed off the ball. Uh, got two minutes added on then. We've just got to see out. Options in the middle and pulled back. Callback. Oh, Colback made a mistake in Samba. Saves and, and Forrest are through to the knockouts. He's found a pocket of space. Brilliant game of football from us. We hardly had any shots, but we were very good. We've got Basel in the semi-finals. Tari's fallen a loan offer. Yeah, have him on loan. Everyone good on energy? Cafe. Right, I'll do this game. Well, it depends if we get knocked out now, really. I don't want to be playing <laughs> in the yellow and red, well, yellow and orange kit, just in case it's sunny. And it might like, reflect onto the pitch, and then we can't hardly see any of our players. That'd be a nightmare. Basel is going to get us underway then. Going to have to try and get a result here. Basel, a very good team. Certainly won't be a pushover for us. We'll definitely get pressure at times. We might go. 1-0 down but then pull it back well, you never know Zinknagel into low oh it was a poor pass from low there who we've finally seen make a run down the left hand side we've hardly seen that so far there's low now just trying to defend and he's got the ball flick past him as McKenna's just looking to Cross. Pressure him into run the ball out. Zinkanago intercepts. Oh, as he's run it out of play. As we're just trying to turn away from him. It's a short one. Palacios on the ball. It's a great tackle by Garner, who's fell over as well. But it'll be another battle throw. And possibilities here.
It's a brilliant save by Samba. We're going to need some of them brilliant saves for him today. Especially in this game. Spence has got the ball flipped past him and that's put wide from the header. So we've been put under a bit of early pressure here, 15 minutes in. Not really had any of the ball. Basel had a couple of chances. There's loads started this game very poorly. At least he's got a bit more involvement though. After not really being involved in the um, other games he started or played in. Lang. So just looking to try and get the ball back after not really I've not really had the ball in this game so far. As Cook intercepts. Johnson gives it up to Cook. Who's well out of position but he's managed to keep the ball there somehow. I don't know how. It's with Garner. Garner into Zinconago. Well, the the star man in the young boys win. Let's just give it up to, to Low. Low into Graben. Cafu as we go 1 0 up. That's totally against the run of play. No but Forest are on their way to a final at the moment. I know it's only a pre season tournament, but this is massive for us. This is brilliant. It's a brilliant team goal. Especially from Lowe who's involved. Who passes it into Graben. Then Graben turns and passes it into Cafu. Who finishes it beautifully. Into the net. We're just looking to try and... Get another goal maybe. Just to... Get all of the pressure off of us. Graben into Cafu again. It's 2-0. Graben's got two assists, Cafu's got two goals in Cafu's first start, I think, anyway. He might have come on as a sub in a game before, but he's not really played. And what a brilliant start. After being under so much pressure from the 15th minute, well, from minute one to minute 15, minute 20-ish. And then we're going to score two goals against the run of play. It's a brilliant game. From us so far. I know we've not really had much of the ball, but when you're creating more of the chances, it's brilliant to watch as Cafu has played grabbing through. Grabbing into Cafu again. Oh, it's a brilliant save. Nearly a hat trick for Cafu there. So at the moment, we're on our way to a final. It's only the pre season tournament final, though, but any final is good. This early on in the season, we might have to play Angers though, which would be a tough task after last time when we lost 3 0 in the group stages. It's a brilliant block by Spence. Cafu, and that's half time. 2 0 then, Forest. Well on their way to a final at the moment. Oh, the Angers are actually losing to Col Cologne, I think that, that's how you say it. I have absolutely no idea. But we're going to keep the same team as the first half, because so brilliant from us in that first half. Garner. Just holding the ball up, but he's been pushed off the ball. Low. Can't quite win the ball, but McKenna's going to have to try and come and claim it, maybe. No, he can't, and Baz will go back with it. There's a chip ball there, and Low intercepts the ball. As Low gives the ball away, though. Trying to get it up to Zinconago as McKenna comes out and tackles, but Basil still have the ball early on in the second half. And Worrell heads it away. And Graben's sold. lost it. Oh, this is terrible from his hand. That's probably a deserved goal. There's Basil's deserved goal anyway. So much pressure from them well, that's a really good in the start of the second half. And here. they thoroughly deserve it after their first 15 minute spell in the first half. And then in just then, it's Johnson. He didn't grab him, but Graben's. Not managed to uh, 
get the ball through. 58 minutes gone then. Basel 1, well, Forest 2. If they would get it over the line in terms of the deal, they've succeeded, Stuart. Well, Johnson a lot of focus on the boy over the last year or two, and he seems into Cafu. Cafu into Graben. Oh, it's a really poor pass from Graben. Who's just trying to send Zinconago through. And As play, Forrest get a throw. Out, but not quite. Maybe start so thinking about making some there. subs soon. Johnson in possession. Johnson's through ball it to Spence. That was a brilliant little run from run. Spence and from Johnson who turned away from his man and managed to get the ball. Zinkadago! It's a brilliant save. Well, they can't quite take advantage in the end. Well, I don't think they've been at it today. But maybe, just maybe, that great save will inspire them now. It's a brilliant save from the Basel keeper. As I might I'm just go out as Spence runs it out of play. I'm going to start making some subs now. Get Lolly on. I'm going to try and play in Zink and Ogle up front and get grabbing off after realistically a star performance. So was Kaffer as well before we took to him off. He was one. obviously scored the two goals that set us on our way, but we've been under a bit of pressure so far. But hopefully, the subs just calm us down a bit. A bit more energy on the pitch to try and run at Basel. Spence down the right hand side now. Given him too much space. Call back. Call back into Lolly on the edge of the box. Lolly shoots. It's a brilliant save. Good reflexes from the keeper and the danger of And the substitution will occur now. Zinknogel does the short corner to Lolly. He's just inside the box. And McKenna going to get the shot off. What a finish by a centre back. 3 1. McKenna scores. What a finish by McKenna, who's playing centre-back and is a centre-back. 78th minute, Forrest 3-1 up. What a brilliant start. Uh, sorry, brilliant end to this it's game we could be in for here. here. Will Forrest go and get a fourth, or will we just hang on for the 3-1 win? Gonzalo we'll have to see. Raul Petretta. But what a brilliant game for Forrest, who were under pressure in the first 15 minutes, but they managed to uh, get two goals in a matter of minutes and then obviously let one in around the 53rd minute in second half. And then we managed to go and get a third, but... Oh, so that was offside, yep. Disallowed goal offside. Yeah, I think everybody switched off there. 87th minute. Forest three. Basel one. And at the moment, unless Basel managed to score two quick goals, we're on our way to the pre-season tournament final. Well, in terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. Not much defensive cover there. Lolly, just trying to get into the box, maybe. Trying to get fourth goal. Mighton. Oh. As we win 3 1. We're into the final then. Will we be playing Cologne or um, Angers? We'll have to see. Hopefully, we're not playing Angers because <laughs> last time we played them, we lost as Cologne won on pen, so we won't be playing Angers. You know what? I'll do the final in this episode. I'm feeling nice. So just loading up to the final then. Tari's falling alone now. Just trying to get some of these players that really aren't going to play out on loan. Don't want to damage their careers, obviously.
Do we play Cafu? You know what? I'll bring him on as a sub in the second half because he deserves it after that first half where he managed to bag two goals. Will we win the preseason tournament final? We'll have to see. As it's raining, so it's always a great start. Johnson. As far as just having the early spells of the ball in the first couple of minutes. And we have action from the pre-season final just seconds away. It's Nottingham Forest and they face Fern. Well, it's been a really good tournament so far, Derek. Let's hope the final can do it Let's just. just the hope we can maybe get an early goal, take the pressure off just a tiny bit. Grab and place it through to Lolly. Lolly could be on for a first goal here, and it's a brilliant save. Well, it's, great it's a great start for Forrest, though. Playing it short. Lolly gives it to Eli, into Worrell, who's held the ball up. Cologne might be through here. Sebastian Anderson and Skiri. So just looking to try and get out a bit and try and pressure. Cologne to giving the ball away, but we haven't managed to do that so far as it's just getting ever so closer to our box and Eli intercepts. Oh, but he's given it away on the edge of the box. This could be problematic. It's a brilliant save by Samba. What a save. Star man really of the tournament so far been on top of his game every game and other than that Angus game has been brilliant another brilliant save from him so the bar and Forrest can regroup from the goal kick Spence now gives it up to Johnson that might roll out of play and it will unfortunately and a throw in to come as Forrest just looked to try maybe get no chance as Gates is going to try and run through and try and get the ball but can't so Forrest just looked to try and get the ball back because Cologne are very dangerous on the attack as we've already saw a couple of times when they manage to get a shot off they can be very dangerous but Samba on top of his game and managing to get the ball Away. Johnson's made a mistake and that's a brilliant save by Samba again. Well he should score of course, but that's a brilliant save. Cologne are the better team at the moment though. Samba comes out and picks up the ball, that was very scary at the moment when I saw Samba diving out for the ball. Got kind of scared. Lorea might be offside, yeah. Too late with the ball. And that brings this move to an end. Well, he saw the pass, but he just couldn't get it away quickly enough. Worrell knocks it down, but only as far really as the Cologne player. Ljubicic. Now can they make something happen? Options in the centre. 30 minutes gone then. Cologne have been on top, but managed to have a couple of saves from Samba, which have realistically so kept us in this game so far. Lorea's going to have to clear that and it's a brilliant save onto the post by Samba as Samba comes and clears, uh, claims the ball as well oh my god what a save got high hopes for Samba this season and if he's producing all these saves so far Johnson down the right hand side cuts inside now into Lolly oh he's rattled the bar Johnson down the right hand side again. Well, That's a free kick. Oh, he's just hit the bar. I don't know really what happened there. Well, he can. That was so unlucky. How close was that? Well, you sense the goals coming. They're getting so close now. They just need to take one of these chances. Garner into Graben. Graben! As we take the lead in the final! 
What a start. Well, what a start in the final. Not really been the better team. We've had a couple of chances here and there, but... Definitely deserve a goal. Obviously hanging on with some brilliant saves from Samba, but we might be taking the lead into the break here. As long as we can just defend for the last couple of minutes of the first half as Larea keeps the ball in play and he's managed to win a throw-in as well. That's brilliant play from him. Graban. Just looking to hold the ball, maybe. Oh, he's lost it now, though. There's Warrell tackles. And McKenna clears it away. And that's half-time. 1-0 Forest in the pre-season tournament final. As it stands, we're going to be winning <laughs> some sort of silverware. So we must not um, get too excited. We're still under a bit of pressure here because Cologne obviously look like when they get a chance they can take it, but been a bit unlucky so far with a couple of brilliant saves from Samba. We're going to start the second half now, then Cologne gets in the way. Realistically, we're going to need a second goal, I think early in the second half just to try and calm us down a bit and set us on our way for the rest of the second half but Lolly's got the ball away in that left wing back position and McKenna wins it and Larea picks up the ball and Lolly can take it away but he's tried passing it for Yates but it's a really poor pass it's a goal for Cologne 1-1 50th minute that just brings us back down to reality a little bit not a lot Samba could do there, it's a brilliant finish. But we keep losing the ball a lot and it's not really helping us at all. Ryan Yates. Yates into Graben now. Graben into Johnson if he can win it and he's got it, yeah. Johnson gives it to Spence, Spence inside for Yates, Yates into Graben. Spence now just holding it up a little bit. Graben. Oh, it's a poor pass. It's given away again by Forrest. Well, many have wondered for a while, would this happen? Now I can tell you, it is definitely going to happen. Rafael Guerrero has completed his move to Chelsea. Yes, it's an exciting move for him, and hopefully we'll now see the best of him. But he'll need to settle in quickly to win over the fans. The move suits everybody, I think. Will it happen for them? This looks interesting. Just under a bit of pressure, defending. but Forrest managed to win it back again. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Garner, uh, sorry, Lolly into Garner now. Just going to hold the ball up for as long as he can, then give it to Yates. Yates. Johnson now Johnson it. gives it into Graben. Oh, Graben looking to try and get in as Johnson's thrown goal. As it's 2-1 Forrest, what a brilliant finish by Johnson. Obviously Forrest through and through from the academy and he's managed to bag a goal which could be the winning goal for Forrest here. You just never quite know. With Cologne they're a decent team but if Sam have produced some massive saves he could save us in this game really. Unless we manage to get a third here. Lolly's coming down the left hand side. He turns away from his man. Gives it to Johnson in the box. Can't quite get uh, to the ball in time and Cologne has the ball now but McKenna's knocked it down and Spence is going to have to chase the ball and does it's a brilliant run from Spence though he's going to throw ball it to Johnson Johnson's going to have to get there will he get there he's got it Johnson to Graben Graben with an open goal and it's 3-1 surely Forrest have won this pre-season tournament final Lewis Graben might have just won the game. Johnson's came to life in this last game. Not really done a lot in the previous games, but he's managed to come alive in in the biggest game, really. It's a brilliant block by Eli. And offside. 
Garland's going to come off then for Colback. I'm just going to start making some subs now. Going to the bench. Just trying to get a bit of fresh legs on. As Larares gave it to Graben. Graben just couldn't quite get it through to Lolly, who probably would have been a throw on goal. But couldn't quite uh, get Anderson. through. Spence knocks it down for Worrell. Worrell back to Spence. Spence inside for Yates, so but couldn't quite uh, get it to Yates. Samba can collect the ball, and we're going to make some subs. Uh, so we're just going to look to try and see out this game now. 3-1, 88th minute. Samba throws it out to Johnson. Johnson's lost it though. It's a brilliant tackle though to win it back. Grabbing into Johnson now. We'll be going for one more goal, maybe. If we can get past his man here. Well, Johnson can get past his man. And I think he has. Grabben couldn't quite get on it. As we win the pre-season tournament, it's not that good, but it will do. It's a good win for now. And great preparation for the season ahead. The manager will be pleased with this. He's got a lot of good things to take from this tournament. A brilliant tournament after obviously we lost the first game. Three 0 but. We've managed to well, it might only be a pre win tournament, but it's always tournament. To come out on top. And you can see just how happy the players are. Look at those Grabbers can lift the trophy then. A man who's been very good since after the first game. As here we go then. As we win the preseason tournament and lift it, we'll lift the trophy. This sets us right up for the season now. This is brilliant for us. Just, I'll just give you one second whilst I whilst you do this. Plenty of photographers here, so the players can share their victory with the world. Well, fantastic, Derek, and they've set down a marker here. As I'm back, we were very good in that second half. Once we uh, obviously let the Cologne goal in, we really played them off the park, limited them to no chances. But we managed to win the tournament, sets us right up for the season now. Got to be very proud with that though. Got 16 million to spend, but well, I think we'll do that in the next episode now, anyway, because this episode has gone on for uh, a long time. <laughs> uh, well, that's gonna be it for this episode then. Thank you all for watching. Obviously, next episode you see will be transfers and probably the first game of the league, which will be Coventry, I think. So yeah, thanks for watching, goodbye.